Welcome to episode 34. Now that the gauntlet is finished, the Xenon have generously donated a whole bunch of scrap resources. Just checking my log for Nividium, and the only thing that it mentions in the last 30 minutes of game time is the resource Hello. survey probe. So I have no idea where the inventory went that was on this ship because it should have Nividium. But if I go to the information, it shows zero. It's empty, sh empty ship. Hmm. What happened to it? All right. While I was tailing my ship here, I discovered a new piece of interface that I didn't know about before. And you see this little arrow here, the white arrow, and how it changes, right? Based on my throttle. If I move my throttle around, I can change that to whatever. But this obviously is the speed I'm actually going and that will try to follow the throttle. But what I never knew is that there's an additional arrow that shows up when you tell it to match the speed of the target. And it's this little hollow arrow here. Now notice that that is independent of the solid arrow, which is my manual throttle. It's basically the the speed of my target. So if I go a little bit faster, you can see that it's not matching speed. Oh dear, it's conk. I think I gotta take care of this. Forager. I didn't expect that. Holy cow, the rodent isn't really a combat ship per se. I mean, small things sure, but a Queen's Guard plus entourage? Yeah, that was not fun. If I tell it to match speed, you'll notice that my speed is not matching his speed, but I do have a target speed indicator here. And also, this is a toggle on and off, like if I hit it again, it turns it off. So it's a good way to tell that you're not matching speed when the other arrow isn't there, or especially when they're not aligned. But at the moment, you can see how they kind of match. My hands are off the throttle, and you can see that my ship is adjusting speed based on the target's speed, which is what you want when you're trying to match speed, right? But if you mess with your throttle at all, like 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 this, you'll notice that if I go faster, my ship goes faster. But if I try to stop, if I try to come to a stop, it will automatically accelerate up to the speed of the target, which is really something I did not know. You know what would be more useful, Egosoft, if you're listening, which you're not, would be a keep constant distance function. Rather than matching the speed, what if I want to keep my ship at five point whatever kilometers from the target? That would be really handy. That way my ship, whichever direction I happen to be flying in, will just do its best to keep that distance. Boy, would that be handy. It doesn't really matter that my speed matches. I just want to be following at a certain distance so that I can keep my weapons at optimal range. Oh, good. Look, one of my quasars arrived. Figured it needed some defense, given that I, I just fended off cock. Yes, 602 Nividium. That's very good. Here's a Katana. Katana. That I also told to come and help. I don't want to take any chances now. You're nearing the meeting point. Remember, it's right below the highway. No. Now, where's that informant got to? Joining squad. Delilah? Was that you? I was asked to drop my cargo. Travel mode, buddy. Come on. I was asked to drop my cargo. Taking serious damage. What the f I'm picking up some lodestones that NPC miners have dropped. Still waiting for this drill to mine anything. It, it's picked up 197 Davidium, but it hasn't gotten anything new for quite a long time. I'm thinking it's. I, I need to get rid of this ship. It's pretty much useless. 
Let's see what this Pegasus does. Oh, it did go into it. Hey, the Xenon don't own this sector. They must have got kicked out by the split? Really? Okay. Unregistered armored transport detected. Honor, Duke's Buccaneers. Destination unknown. What? These fellows seem to be carrying an unnecessarily large amount of valuable wares. I do wonder where they are taking them, and to what end. Oh dear Bozo, ever the investigator. The real question is, what's stopping us from relieving them of their cargo right here, right now? Maybe that I'm busy doing other things, Dal? You always want to take over what I'm doing, which is annoying, really. I've got cover activated at the moment, and one of you guys mentioned that I should be able to disable this cover deactivated using other filters. Is that right? Cover activated, Yaki. Uh, no, it seems to be. Oh, wow! Check this out. Ooh, this is quite a fight. Fulmar. That is a Talati Fulmar. It is a battleship added by VRO, and it is currently engaging with v. Th that V. Ooh. Somebody's not happy with me. That is pretty cool, though. I mean, the Fulmar. Let's get a closer look at it. Hmm. What? What is that weapon? Wish I could. Wish I could just click on it. sound at least. <laughs> Looks cool. Um, yeah, this, um, Battleship Fulmar is uh, not bad, not bad. I mean, despite the fact that Talati combat ships in general aren't that great. Whoever added this did a pretty good job. I need a battleship. <laughs> Man, look how fast these guys are going through that gate. Hmm. Now I'm kind of wondering how these guys are doing in, up in Zin. All right. This is the P that just popped through the gate, and the gauntlet is fully armed. There's a lot of firepower here. Let's see what happens. Awaiting orders. Oh, yeah, that's that's Cover deactivated. swift and brutal. There will be no small xenon making it through this gate now. I actually want something bigger to come through so I can feel confident that it's working. Well, um, yeah, there are. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, that might be a bit much, but we've got an eye. K, another a V, and another V. So two Vs, a K, and an I. Scratch that, two Vs, two Ks, and an I. That's a lot of firepower. I don't even know if my gauntlet could handle that, if they all came through at the same time. Oh, they seem to be splitting up, don't they? That's curious.
it appears the V and the K here with their entourage are making their way out of Litany of Fury. Maybe, maybe. They looked like they were going for the gate, but now I'm not so sure. Oh, no, oh, it vanished. So yeah, that brings them into Wretched Skies 10, which I should have gotten an alert for, but okay. The V is not heading down the line. It seems to be that the Xenon are more interested now in the Paranid of Wretched Skies, which are few, than to head towards my stuff. Although, wait, let me see here. No, oh, no, maybe not, maybe not. They could be coming. Well, this should get spicy. If, if these guys come through the Heretic's End, they'll definitely get blown away. Even though that's quite a lot of fighters, we'll see. What are they doing? Wait, still on their way. Yep. Again. I just remembered I have Seda. I don't normally use it. Why was my cover activated? All right, you guys got to keep pushing to this gate here. Back on track, are we, or still getting distracted? Seems back on track. What just came through? Cover deactivated. I don't even know. It didn't last long. Here we go. So there's a K and a V and a bunch of little stuff. And they are just about to the sector next door. Here we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, they are in Wretched Skies 5, which is just next door. We will see if they get distracted here or go s or come for me. Oh, it doesn't look... Oh. They seem to be going, yeah, this way. I bet they're going this way. Cover well, that's kind of... Little stuff keeps coming through, but... Cover deactivated. Well, hang on now. Did they maybe split up? Oh, well, this V seems still interested. Yeah. All right. Where did the K that was with him go? All right, let's watch. So here we are at the gauntlet, and there are Xenon on the way. Well, they might have gotten distracted with the split. Yeah, they're 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 beating on the split a little bit, but maybe after they're done. Yes, no, no. They're just killing. They just killed a boa, and an alligator, and another boa, and now they've resumed course back to Heretic's End, where they Cover were. Activated. Yeah. Cover deactivated. Their fate. <laughs> this should be good. Yeah, they're definitely coming for the gate here. Oh, well, you know what? The the, the split just put up a, a a station just outside the other side of this gate. I wonder if... All right, well, any second now we should be getting company. They're right on the other side, but they're not coming through. Maybe they're waiting for the whole group. Yeah, they're grouping back up. Oh, they're going for the... Split station, yeah. You know what I should do is I should go watch. I mean, they're they're right on the other side of the skate, so I should be able to just see it by popping through. 
Entering system. Wretched skies. Yeah. All right, so they're basically attacking the construction site. Factory. There's nothing there yet, but they're attacking it. Yeah, this is just 4% hull left. Yeah, there it goes. It's weird how it does that. It shows up as whole for a moment, then it shows up as wreckage. Even though it was never really started. Entering system. Heretics end. All right, here we go. Gate flash. And nothing. They're, they're right there. What are they waiting for? They're waiting for the, the V, aren't they? What are they? Sh what's shooting at them? Oh, it's the little. They're they're engaging um, a Perseus, which they killed. All right. Now they've got nothing to hold them back except their own indecisiveness and regrouping. <laughs> Here it comes. Here comes the V. Here comes the first test, the first real test of the gauntlet with the capital ship. Flash. Cover activated. Ooh, there it is. There it is. Oh, ooh. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's a lot of fireworks. All the little ships are coming. <laughs> Cover deactivated. Well, I'd say that worked pretty well. Um, I don't know if any of them took damage or even how to tell. Factory. Oh, like this one says hull 88%. That means I'm going to need to get repair drones, aren't I? I hadn't even thought of that. Cover activated. Yaki. I mean... Cover deactivated. <laughs> you gotta love that. Alright, let's get some drones going. Which means you go to the logical overview, click on drones, and then click on repair drone. Target amount 40, right? Hello, Odysseus. <laughs> Goodbye, Odysseus. Which means that we need smart ships, energy cells, and drone components. I've got traders on the way to drop off the parts to make the repair drones for the gauntlet. So that way it can self-repair after it takes damage. Because, holy heck, that V... <laughs> there it is. This thing, it did cause some damage, but it fell pretty quick. It fell a lot quicker than it would have to the sin, I'll tell you that right now. I probably should get a tuta in here. My ships. Large. Tuta. Compactor. They're not that expensive. 8.5 million for the scrapper. Yeah, I'll buy it. Need to make 12 more EMP. Can always use more of those. The last time I was in, I forgot to sell the Spacefly Caviar, which is here under General Wares for some reason. A million each. I'll sell seven. Gotta hang on to one. That paid for the scrapper. <laughs> What's this? What is this? Why is Scaleplate building a factory right next to my hull part factory? Would I get in trouble if I blew it up? Don't they need a builder? Yeah, let's try something.
All right, I've told the Sin to attack the factory. We'll see what it does. How about that? And the factory is no more. Yeah, that's too close to my stuff. You can't do that. Did that Nvidia ever get delivered? Advanced Electronics. I'm still missing elect Advanced Electronics. How'd that happen? 79. It needs 79 Advanced Electronics. And 514 field coils for some reason. Why? It used to have enough. What happened to them? All right. I'm just emptying out the remainder of what's in the build storage because the station's done and I don't need to be building anything else. And I thought it would be cool to see what it looks like when a freighter comes along and empties it. There go the drones, the empty cargo drones, and they are coming back with stuff. So that should start to change the, the appearance here. Oh, yep, one of them vanished. Or well, it didn't vanish, it, it, it got smaller. Notice that the frame is still there, but it's not full. It's about half full. Ah, look at that. A whole bunch of it left that time. I'm surprised it's only using three drones. I know I put more than that on there. Ooh. Yeah, that got rid of all of it. It's empty now. That must be the last little bit. Now I don't have to worry about losing anything in case there's an accident out here with this very squishy storage. This thing here, this framework is indestructible, so you never have to worry about that getting blown up. Now my freighter just has to get through the gauntlet before this pea shows up. There we go, let's try that. I want to see what that's like. I just told the Tuta to... What's it called? Dismantle wreck? Salvage a large wreck and turn it into scrap. Cover activated. Yaki. You know what? Deactivated. While I wasn't looking, I think there's another fight because when I look at the map, the wreck of the the wreck of the V is here with another wreck of a K. There's two wrecks here, a K and a V. I only saw one get destroyed. I really wonder now how long these wrecks last because I'm going to want to salvage both of them, obviously. Cover activated. Ooh. Yaki. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Cover deactivated. What a beautiful thing. No available builder drones. Wait, 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 wait. Do you need builder drones? Build drones for... Oh. I didn't know you had to put build drones on it. Here, let's, let's turn this thing around. Okay, deployables. Building drones. 25. Players, which are like an obvious, I really don't like Averse. The whole tide cycle thing in combination with the fact that there's pretty much no docking anywhere is just incredibly frustrating. Welcome to out of sector physics. There we go. Now I've queued up both wrecks. Find and salvage a wreck at the specified position. Oh, well, that's, that's not bad. But how do you automate it? That's the real question. This does seem to be able to collect wrecks in a pretty big range. But again, I would like something fully automated where you can say constantly go to this place and salvage wrecks where I don't have to keep commanding it to do so. Because once all these wrecks are gone, I guarantee it's going to be like collect drops where it's just, it's done. And now it forgets the order. Probably should pick up some manticores as well.
the the wrecks are starting to despawn. I can hear them. It hasn't been that long. Jump gate. Wretched skies. V. Cover activated. Yaki. Cover deactivated. See this Xenon jumped in outside of the gauntlet. It's pretty close to the gate, but it was outside of the gauntlet's, you know, zone. So it's um it's pretty important. Cover activated. That, Yaki. Uh, It's pretty important that they have the weapons range to be able to shoot at whatever spawns nearby, not just in the interior here or through the gate itself. Oh, 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 oh. I hope we don't have company over here. We do, we do. I'm going to have to order the Tuda to slow up, I think. That sucks. How am I going to do this? Um, well, actually, you know, they, they do seem a bit distracted. I might be able to sneak it through. Or yet at the At the very least, I'll just, I'll try it. If it doesn't work, I'll reload. Cover activated. Yaki. Oh my gosh. There's the U. And it's on the move. Cover activated. Yaki. It's in Tharka's Cascade. Cover deactivated. That's scary. Oh man, well, there's a lot of military in this area, so <laughs> Cover this could get interesting. Yaki. Cover activated. The big U. The big U, see that? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that is That is the same you. That pretty much confirms that it's the same you that I originally spotted cuz I set out an alarm specifically for that registration number and <laughs> and there it is. Okay, so it jumped into that sector, did it? Well, at least it's going away from, you know, trading areas, I guess. But goodness, who knows what it's going to do. It's just one thing I want to do is I want to um I want to make sure I keep an eye on it. How do I do that? How do I do that? Well, I'll put it on repeat. What I really 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 hope is that scrap cubes, which are basically chew to poop, never despawn. I, I hope that this thing can eat the wreck and spit out the the cubes and that they just hang out there until the manticores come for it because the whole scrapping process seems very, very janky to me, like prone to bugs and just orders. general annoyances. Oh, the manticores have arrived. That's cool. Are you moving? Come on, Tuta. I need you. All right, the tuta is in sector. Oh, the big U, there it is. Arcus Cascade 15. So it jumped back down here. <gasps> oh, this one's got fighters. Okay, look at this. It's got... It's got... F five on either side. It's got five docking bays on each side. So 10 docking bays, and it, I mean, those are for small ships, right? So that it wouldn't, I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, it carrying a load of peas over here or something. But yeah, this is a carrier and it's ready to go. And it's got the wave motion gun on the front. <laughs> um, 
I wonder if it's going to come to uh, cause trouble in Hitikva's choice, because that that's a load of trouble. As long as it doesn't come to lo cause trouble in Heretic's end, please. <laughs> that's that's all I ask. I don't think I can handle a U. Although I probably should make a specialty ship for taking out turrets and stuff like that. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, the Tuta is on site. Is that it right here? Tuta. Yeah. Um, that's curious. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. Ooh, look! Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Hang on. So I'm right next to the other wreck, but this is the wreck being worked on. There it is. I couldn't see it before, but... <clears throat> I've never actually seen the Tuta do its thing. So from what I hear, it's like a builder, but in reverse. So it uses these drones. And the more drones you have, the quicker it is, of course. So I bought all of them. Um, but it should start making the, the wreck here look more like it's, you know, under construction or something, under destruction. Nothing so far. Anyways, check out this scrapping ship. This is the Tuta. It's really cool looking. You can dock on it. And... It just looks like it's made of scrap, you know? <laughs> Very cool. I think this is where the cubes come out. Yeah, this big square in the back. So this is the butt end of the tuta, and that's where it poops out the cubes. And they look very much like Borg cubes, actually. But yeah, this is very cool. I like it. I just hope it works well, you know? There's a lot of things in this game that just don't work very well, and I hope this is one that works well. The drones seem to be doing their thing. Oh hey, I think is it is it showing signs? I can't really I can't really tell. Showing signs of um deconstruction. Oh hey, there's one of the cubes. Alright, so here's Here's a scrap cube. It's even called Scrap Cube. It's very cool. And according to this, it's got a thousand raw scrap in it for what that's worth. Oh, there comes another one. Bonks into the first one. Yeah, I love this. This is so cool. So now I should be able to get raw resources from the wrecks that the gauntlet makes, which is fantastic. See, this is formerly Xenon ship right here. <laughs> that's so neat. I love it. The, the main question, of course, is how do I process it? And that's going to be a bit of a difficulty because you need to make a station for reprocessing, obviously. And the station has to have a reprocessing uh, module on it. And it requires just gobs and gobs and gobs of energy cells in order to function, which is why Avarice, with its ridiculous amounts of sunlight, is where everything generally gets reprocessed. If I go to the map, or the, rather the encyclopedia on um, Heretic's End, you can see that I've got 100% sunlight, right? But if we go to Avarice, it's got 1400% sunlight. <laughs> so you get 14 times the production of energy cells in Avarice. I mean, even Mercury, 680% sunlight, right? So Avarice has twice as much sunlight as Mercury. Why everything doesn't get burned to a crisp? Who knows? Yep. They're working. You should find the teleporter now has a much larger range. Oh, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Research teleportation range is finished. Gather the required materials. 
There's another one. Yeah, man, you know, that's 5,000 raw scrap so far from this dead K. And they're still going at it. I've told the manticores to come and get these scrap cubes, but I've only got four manticores, right? And I don't know if they're going to be able to drop them. Whoa! Are, did they just tractor those from, like, miles away? I thought the manticores had to come, like, right next to it. Like this one did. Yeah, you can see the janky physics here. Look at it jerking around. This isn't... This doesn't feel like a heavy object. It just jerks and bumps around like it doesn't weigh anything. It seems to do fairly well as long as it doesn't bump into anything. Well, I'm fairly impressed with how much scrap is coming out of this K wreckage. I had no idea. Imagine if an eye came through here. And to think that they just despawn after a while. That's just sad. Timing is terrible, Boso, as usual. Although, come to think of it, when you teleport, <laughs> when you teleport, headquarters, it annihilates everything within like a 50 kilometer radius. So that might be an interesting way of getting rid of the U. Uh, should it come to that? But it's very expensive. Well, that's curious. It's got a different symbol. It's, is that the carrier symbol? I'm not, I'm not sure. I know this is the battleship symbol here. All right, Bo, so what do you want? Hello there. You will find that a new item of research is available. Given what we have learned from our teleportation research, I believe we can apply it on a grand scale. This experiment will result in the relocation of this station to another position within this sector. That is, unless we run into some disastrous issue, of course. Like a you showing up? <laughs> that would be disastrous. You're just going to hang out here till I do the race, aren't you? I wasn't planning on doing scrapping just yet, but given that I am going to be getting quite a lot of Xenon metal, it only seems right that I get into it. I'm going to have to do a little digging to figure out just how and where to recycle and how much solar power it takes and all that stuff. I heard it takes a lot of solar and I've done a little bit of reading on it. It's kind of extensive, so I'm not going to make it my primary project, but it's going to be kind of going on in the background. Another thing that I'm going to be doing in the future is probably not showing any more me gathering resources for build projects because you've probably seen enough of that to kind of know how it works. And that will save me a whole lot of recording time, although it might reduce the amount of content that I have in the future because I'm still going to be playing the same amount in a week, roughly, probably, but the footage will have less things to show in it. And usually what I do to figure out what to show in the episodes is I talk. So if I'm not talking while I'm playing, it's because there's nothing to show you. So what I'll probably do is just not talk during the resource gathering stuff or while I'm moving goods around and things like that. That'll help me see that I can skip that. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this episode. Next episode, I'm probably going to be opening up Born Space. I think that's the next thing to do. There's a U hanging out in Tharka's Ravine, and that does make me a little bit nervous, but now that I have full teleporting, I can pretty much respond to anything as long as I have a ship in the area. So I'm planning on taking the rodent into Boron Space, and when it comes time to do the mission, the high road, I'm going to use the Sin, which is going to make it very interesting. Because if you remember from a long video ago, I did the high road mission not with VRO, and I did it using the Corvette that the Boron loan you for the mission. 
but they say that you can just use your own ship if you want and of course you can't if you're just starting the game but i'm not starting the game at the moment but because i've got a sin and it's pretty well armed for anti-fighters especially anti-conk i think it's going to be a lot of fun to just take it in there and see what happens anyways hope you enjoyed thanks for watching catch you next time